pretty girls. the farm uh, so we did go and buy four um, bread three-year-olds Friday um, they were kind of a special deal and we really really wanted them so we uh, took off the afternoon and went and got, picked those girls up I'm gonna talk to you about them more when I show you so we brought them over to the calving size the cow calf pairs and then we're going to move the ladies. That's where I'm headed now. There's some of them kind of standing underneath of a shade tree down here. Enjoying the good life. Calving season is one of my favorites, but it's also nearing the end. I should be done with anything now, except for maybe um, one, if, if it's going to happen. Now it's just grass season. Come on, girls. Okay. Come on. Come on, babies. Come on. I left Ryder at home. Should have brought him. Made my life just a little bit easier. Come on. That's Valor up there anyway. As you guys can see, uh, there's still quite a bit of grass here in these paddocks, but they've ate down what they want. And then we'll come probably through in a couple weeks and brush hog the top part of this off. Get these seeds on the ground. Jason and I are working on um, condensing both the spring herd and the fall herd into one calving cycle. We finally have enough cows on the same cycling page that we can do that. When we first started out, we were just buying all the cows that we could get and it didn't really matter when they were gonna calve because in the end result, we knew we had five years to plan. And not all takes time. Calving, calving cows take time. It's a little bit different than fats and whatnot. It's gotten real warm and muggy today. Today's like the first day in weeks, it feels like, that we've had some good sun. It has literally rained every day, every day this week. So it's just been kind of hard to video and not much happening. But we're getting there.
Jason, the rest will follow. Come on, girls. There's a new girl right there. There's four of them. Come on. There goes another one. And they are from the same Deer Creek Valley as our big guy. They're all calling for their babies. Give up, babies! <laughs> so, uh, Jason's dad, John, has the kids, and they're they're following up on the back end with the Pioneer, helping us bring in these little guys. So we've moved two paddocks. And now we just got all these little guys to come up the rest of the way. Good job. Good babies. Good babies. Good babies. Okay, there's a lot of rich clover here. I would not stand too close to them. So you guys seen us spread fertilizer over here and put out different kinds of clover and uh, grass seed. And Jason can talk about it a little bit differently than I can because there's different legumes out here that feed the other side of it. So the clover feeds the grass and the grass feeds the clover. So it's very, very rich and nutritious. It's very thick. I mean, I can, that's that little calf we've been doctoring. You can barely see her out here. Happy heads are down, just the way we like them. Come on, Come on girls! <whistles> they found a mud hole, so we have to move them. I heard her while ago. So like I was saying, these girls will actually, in about 25 days or so, they're actually going to be combined. We're going to combine this herd with the herd we just moved and make one really, really big herd. Um, it's taken us this long since we started this. Um, when we were buying, we weren't paying quite attention to um, when they were going to calve. We were just concerned about getting calves and getting cows and getting our herd established, but now, now that we have ample grass and ample ladies and ample, you know, it all just comes in together, we'll be able to put them together. So now we'll look like we have a lot of cows.
and then we'll just go to the one calving cycle. It's very nice. And uh, the new merch, the new tees are live on our Farm Focus page. You can find it under Resort Farms. A good portion of it ain't. Oh, heads up. Hello, Mama. They're gonna get pushy. So we're putting sulfur in. It helps with flies. We are also putting in a selenium block. Did you bring salt over or just these? No. So just selenium and dust sulfur for today. Hello, babies. Hello, Lucy. They're gonna get. They're gonna go shoving. We almost need to bring all another mineral tub over it but <laughs> biggest thing with the minerals if you keep it there every day they won't be like this So it'll be more like a tent. A little bit. That's a good thing. So this is the problem we're trying to eliminate. These are really great feeders. That's why we haven't been putting out much mineral because this needs to be done. Yeah. And finally get it done, so. Yeah. These are heavy duty. You never have to worry about the bulls tearing them up or moving them around. Just drag them around from paddock to paddock. They are Go Bob, what are they, monster mineral feeders? I'll put the link down below.
Charlie. They're working their way down. Maybe today we might actually get away without any rain today. Maybe. Today's the first day in what? Six days? Seven days? Smoke cow. No, Strawberries, kidding. mom. What is strawberry? They are out. They're out. Hello, babies. I guess you really aren't. You guys really aren't babies no more, are you? Baby pool. Where's the little baby pool that I picked out last night? 